Hello everybody and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be starting called Looking at Crap. So what this series is going to be is me looking at various products that are widely considered to be pretty bad and kind of crappy. So many of them will be store-bought products, some of them could be products that were poorly received, and throughout the series I'm going to tell you what I think about them and if I think they really are a piece of crap. So, let's get into it. So when I thought of what I could do to start off this series, I thought to myself, how could I not begin with this one product that is probably the most infamous in the pomade community that is widely regarded as a terrible product, and that is American Crew Pomade. Yes, <laughs> this one is really, really bad. It is a terrible product, and I have a feeling that this episode is going to go on for quite a while. It might be a long one because I have a lot to say about this. So let's get started. So all the American Proof products have this same kind of design on them, and you know, some of them they have like pictures of Elvis on them and try to catch your eye with stuff like that, but I'm going to get into that later. But anyway, um, this is the product. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's a gel type type deal. And I'm not really that good at describing the scent on it, but it's kind of like a watery type cologne. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, it smells like American Crew Pomade. It's kind of like the only way you describe Suavecito is that it smells like Suavecito. This smells like American Crew, and that's about what you could say. So this one, it is a water base, and on the surface, I would say that it has a unique idea, unique concept. So on the surface, it's a water-based pomade, and it doesn't harden up, and it washes out really easily, smells crisp and clean. So on the surface, it's like, well, that sounds like a pretty cool thing, especially considering how old this product is and that it's famous for being everywhere. You know, they styled the men's hair on Mad Men with it. It's widely distributed and very much a very famous popular product. So you think, conceptually, sounds pretty good, sounds fine. But then you try it and it is bad. <laughs> so let's do that. <laughs> Scoops out like nothing because it really doesn't have much of any hold, which is what is the main big problem with it. Um, the big, big problem that is the ultimate downfall of this product is the complete absence of any kind of hold, um, which typically, you know, sometimes that's okay. You know, if you're going to use something like Royal Crown, you don't expect it to have hold. But this one is just not, it's, it's not working properly with it. And that's where it ultimately falls, is the complete absence of hold or resistance. And it's just not good. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much you cake it on, it just does not have hold. Um, you know, and, and first I'm applying and it, and it first it goes in there fine and nice and dandy and everything will initially be okay and everything will be fine initially. Slick everything back, it looks decent, you know, kind of alright, but nothing too crazy. Like my sides are held down nice and tight and stuff, but within about, I don't know, five, ten minutes, it all just, and the hold just goes away and it just disappears and it's just non-existent. You can style your hair up initially just fine and it'll look fine but within five minutes it'll all be destroyed and then just look terrible and, and just not hold together at all which is not good <laughs> and resistance is something that you would want in a product that is advertised as pomade so one of the one of the positive things in this stuff is that it does maintain a high shine while being water-based and while not hardening up. Really neat and a pretty neat thing for a product that you can buy at Walmart or something. But 
Gosh, the hole just is, it's, it's absolutely, it's atrocious, the kind of hole that gets. Um, you know, I styled my hair up just fine right now, and it's looking just, you know, okay, aside from the fact that I need a haircut. It, it looks fine, you know, it looks just decent. But, I mean, gosh, it's just, it won't, it won't be looking like this within, you know, 10, 15 minutes. It just won't look the same. You know, I got this little tiny little, beep, 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 little baby contour. I, I, you can't, you cannot get height with this stuff, like none at all, even considering my hair is very much thinned out over the past couple of years and I'm starting to lose hair a lot, so my hair is a lot easier to pick up volume because it's so thin now. Um, but you just can't. It's just non-existent and it's just a real shame. Um, and I'm not gonna become too finicky with my hair right now just because I know how this stuff works and I know that it just is not gonna look good and it won't. It... <laughs> Even right now, it's just, it's already starting to get all janky and my sides right here are like poofy right here. Even though I need a haircut, it's not slicking things down right here, but initially it was and it's been just like three minutes and it's... Ah, it's just not working. This stuff is terrible. It is so bad. But, um, ah, I don't know why I keep going back at it because I keep saying I, that it doesn't matter. It does not matter what I do to my hair. It will not look good. And it's just not going to work together. So, I guess I should just wrap things up with this and just kind of give up. But, yeah, um, hmm. All right, final verdict. It's gonna be a long one. <laughs> About American Crew Pomade. It is a terrible product. It is not good. It doesn't get things together. It doesn't work properly. Um, when you want a typical pomade, you think, all right, I wanna have some slick sides, a little bit of volume. I wanna do pompadours, maybe a contour, something old school. And it just doesn't work. It, it's it is a failure of a product and it just, it, it doesn't work. There, literally everything else is better. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about like the ultimate nail in the coffin with this stuff. The reason why it is so infamous is the painful price tag. This stuff can go anywhere from 17 to 20 bucks. That's a lot of money. You can buy two home-brewed oil-based products for that price. You can get like two of the cheaper ones like uh, Pumps Not Dead or Lockhart's, the oil-based Lockhart's, or find something on Hedgeline with free shipping for 10 bucks. Um, it's, but goodness, that is a lot of money to throw away for something this terrible. You could argue that it's a water base that can be used as a top coat because it's shiny and it doesn't harden up. Sure, you can do that. That's 20 bucks for that, and it's only three ounces. Layrite Super Shine is four ounces, and it's a product that can work as a standalone that is vastly superior. But this is just terrible in every, every, every way around it, which it is intriguingly bad. It is, it is curiously bad, because every single Walmart, salon, that you go to, guarantee, will have American Crew Pomade. That's a promise, guarantee. And I wonder to myself, how? How can something so bad? So I've got some ideas, some theories. This is not factual, but just some things I'm thinking about. Um, back when I first started using Pomade, 2012, I went to Walmart because I was like, you know, I wanna get more into rockabilly style, what do I need to use? You know, I didn't go online, search forums, search for videos, nothing like that. I just said, what do greasers, rockabillies use? I asked my family and they said, oh yeah, it's like that greasy stuff, you know. Um, so I found out that's called pomade. Went to Walmart back in 2012. The only product that was labeled pomade at Walmart was American Crew. Of course, there was Royal Crown, Murray's, Sportin' Waves, those things were there. But this is the only one that was labeled, marketed pomade, way back in the day. I didn't buy it 
back then because it was too much money and I, and I ended up leaving with Murray's. That was my first pomade I ever used. But it's still intriguing that, that this is the one that you'll find mass produced that's labeled as pomade. And I was gonna talk about the Elvis pictures on them. That it's almost like they're selling to you that if you want to have Elvis hair look like Elvis, because he has probably the most famous pompadour in the world, they're like, use this. This is the one that'll make you look like Elvis. You'll look like Elvis if you use this product. And it was used in Mad Men. So when you see the people who have the hair on Mad Men, you know, that's a show that takes place back in the day. Old school. And you'll think, whoa, they used American Crew? I want to have hair like that. So... This product, its success has nothing to do with the quality of the product because that is not there. The success of the product comes from fabulous marketing that I think is very intriguing. I think that it's fascinating that a product this terrible can be everywhere and you can find it everywhere. It's fascinating. Um, I think it's really neat and I mean, as much as the product's bad, Good on them for, for being so creative with their marketing, for being the first to kind of put that out there and to get people's attention in that way. And it works. This stuff's been around since like the 90s. And they have really were able to grab things while it was early. And got it. it was a bit ahead of its time in the 90s. And although the product is a complete failure, it is a good concept, a good idea. How I said that they were thinking of making something water-based that can wash out, that's shiny. Uh, kind of like the Royal Crown, but water-based. Good ideas, but completely flawed and failed execution. Um, with that said, the question may come, then how the heck did I get this? And it's exactly the same thing that has to do with this whole marketing idea. Back then, 2012, 2013, my family, they knew, hey, Cameron likes pomade. He likes the greasy stuff. He, he does this whole rockabilly thing. Um, let's get him that. And what do they go for when they go to the store and they say, Cameron likes pomade? They come with this. Because this is the product that was in their face. And the one that they saw pomade on there and they say, whoa, this is pomade. Cameron will like it. Amazing marketing. Really smart way to do it, but gosh, dang, this is a terrible product. And I'm glad I got that off my chest. Um, I've been wanting to do that product for a long, 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 long time. So, there you go. American Crew Pomade.